YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting hunting product that I'm going to be reviewing, first impression demoing today. And that is a hunting saddle. So let me grab it and show you it so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So this is a hunting saddle. I'm assuming many of you have never seen or heard of saddle hunting before. Essentially, saddle hunting replaces a tree stand and you harness yourself in to this harness right here and you dangle yourself from a tree. That's a, like in a nutshell what saddle hunting is. Now, I had a lot of questions about this. Is it safe? Is it comfortable? Could it actually be better than using a climber or a hang on or a ladder stand, etc.? So I'm going to be giving you guys a, again, like a first impression, sort of high level overview of this product. Nick and I have a good friend, Taylor Chamberlain, Chamberlain, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Taylor, but he is a phenomenal hunter out of Virginia. And since we met him, he has been trying to convince us to try out saddle hunting. So he introduced us to this company, this brand called Tethered, um, and Tethered was so kind to send Nick and I both saddles to test out and wear and potentially hunt in this fall. So this is only my second time ever actually being hooked up in a tree in the saddle, but today I will show you how to get your saddle on and how to actually get hooked up in the tree, and then I will be practicing shooting my bow while I'm all hooked up in the tree for the first time ever. So hopefully that will provide you with some wonderful entertainment. But without further ado, let me get this thing on. So this is what the harness looks like on. It weighs about 15 ounces and it straps you in in three spots. You have a buckle around your waist and then a buckle on each leg. You want to make sure that they are pretty secure, but not so tight that you're uncomfortable walking or breathing, obviously. From here, you are ready to approach the tree. So why don't I pull you guys a little closer and I can show you the other ropes that I have to actually tether me to the tree. All right, so I have a nice pouch here on my hip. This pouch is held on by a molly system, so you're able to customize it to the position that you like it. I seem to like it, at least thus far, I've only tried it since yesterday. Um, thus far I like it here on my right hip. But in this little pouch I have two ropes uh, and I'll show you what each of these are. First, I have my lineman rope. So this rope is what is going to keep me attached to the tree and safe as I am climbing up. For demonstration purposes today, and because I don't have any climbing sticks, I will only be this high off the ground, but I'm sh still going to show you how this all shakes down. So, with this Lyman's rope, I have a very small loop on one side. You can connect this loop directly to a carabiner, or if you want to ditch the added weight and potential noise of a carabiner, you can attach yourself like this. You can attach your Lyman's belt like so, so that you are securely fastened in. Uh, really, that's 100% your personal preference. Once you are attached on one side, you will throw this guy around the tree and on the opposite side, you will have another carabiner that will hook on like so. Now this rope is attached in a way where just like your tree harness would be, it tightens and does not move with the more pressure you put against it. Once you release pressure, you can move this knot wherever you'd like it. So your lineman's rope goes around the tree now you would ideally have climbing sticks with you that you would then attach to the tree and climb up. Um, if you're in a state where you're allowed to, you know, screw in little pegs, whatever climbing method of your choice um, 
is, you will then climb up the tree with your lineman's rope being your safety net, if you will. Once we get all the way up and we are ready to climb in, you will set up your platform or your platform will already be attached to the tree. In this case, our platform is already attached to the tree. And now we pull out our tree tether to actually get us hooked in tight to the tree. So let me grab that. So your tree tether is going to have a much larger loop than your lineman's rope. And that is because some of you folks may like to keep your carabiner already attached to it. You can also have your carabiner attached to the silver rope, which is your bridge. Either way, doesn't matter. It's just your personal preference. You're gonna take this rope, swing it around the tree, Situate it where you want it. Now, because I'm a newbie and I haven't practiced with this so much, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to want it at eye level height, higher, lower. That's going to take me some time to kind of figure out and see where I like it best. But you get it on there fairly tight. And then you will take this carabiner, attach it to your bridge, tighten it down. And then from here, you can release your Lyman's belt. So I'm going to let that guy go. And because it's still attached to me, I'm just going to roll it up and put it back in that bag on my hip. And now, <laughs> that is how I stay attached to the tree. So from this point, I'm going to go ahead and climb up on this platform so you can see what this actually looks like, you know if we were up in the tree. So I climbed up onto the platform, which is secure. You stand on the platform just like you would a regular tree stand. I then shimmied this guy up. Um, and at this point, I would still have my lineman around the tree until this was exactly in the spot where I wanted it. And I could then hang from the tree. Now, a lot of folks have different ways that they are comfortable. Some people, so I've heard and so I've seen, like to actually put knee pads on and sit like this in the tree as they wait. Other guys like to move this up higher. And kind of stand while they're in the tree. I don't know that I have a preference yet because I've never been up here with my bow, but here's where we get into some of the benefits of saddle hunting. You have a much larger range of motion when you're in a saddle. So imagine I have my bow. Now I'm gonna turn away from camera for a second, but I have, if this is 12 o'clock, I have a great shot from pretty much 10 o'clock all the way down to seven o'clock. And again, I will get my bow up here in a second. So I have a really great shot over there. I can spin around and get a shot this way, which this is probably the most difficult shot of them all. Or I can completely <laughs> This is where it's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> you can turn around this way and shoot behind you that leg seven o'clock to five o'clock kind of range directly behind you. Um, you can also just stand on the, on the platform. Great point. You also don't have to dangle like a little weirdo. And you can take that shot there. Now this platform is sold by Tethered but there are a number of different tree stand companies out there that do make other platforms that you can use. I know other folks attach like multiple platforms around the tree so that they can like walk all the way around. So they have an even greater range of motion. The other benefit to saddle hunting is that you can use the tree to block the animal's view of you. 
So if I have an animal coming, I can position myself behind the tree or even, I don't know how you would draw behind the tree, um, but you, can, you have some room to work with so that you stay a little more hidden while you're hunting. And, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but it's just kind of fun. Like, I'm having fun up here. I think that kind of answers some of the general questions in terms of how does it compare to hunting out of a more traditional tree stand. Now, with all of that said, I obviously have not tried hunting out of this yet, so I don't know if all of those things will hold true. Maybe once I get my bow, I'll have a different opinion. All in all, this is a much lighter setup than if you were carrying in a climber, but it gives you the same mobility as a climber, as a climber stand would. So you can really climb any tree with this. You just need climbing sticks with you. Next, comfort. I feel like my butt is like hanging out of this right now. So I definitely would need to adjust this a little bit more. I either don't have it tight enough or I don't have it low enough or whatever. I feel perfectly comfortable, but it could be a little bit better. So I think that takes just some getting used to, and you definitely wanna make sure you have the right fit. It's not one size fits all. They do have different sizes available. So Nick handed me my bow, but another thing to think about and consider is that you'll want a bow rope of some sort to pull your bow up with you and something to actually hang your bow from. Because I don't think it'd be very fun to sit here with your bow the whole time. Something to consider. Okay, I also don't have my quiver, which is why my arrows are like this. So the target is off about seven o'clock. I'm gonna shoot for the first time. One thing that I imagine playing around with is like putting a knee on the tree for some stability or if you were climbing a tree that had branches, being able to sort of use that to your advantage to stabilize yourself a little more. For this first shot, I'm just gonna lean and take the shot. Now, another advantage to being in this position when you shoot is that you are closer to sort of that true T position versus when you're in a tree stand and you're aiming down, you know, sort of bending at the waist. Um, here you're in a more, more natural position for shooting. So we'll see <laughs> how it feels. I'm also a little nervous about like my elbow bumping into things, but all right. Here we go, first shot. so I'm definitely going to aim low. Okay, I just flung that thing because I was a little nervous. Let's try again. Oh my god! It's pretty cool. See, I was going to try one standing, but you really, unless you were like turned all the way around, it's really not comfortable. Your elbow will bang into the tree. Okay, I pretend a deer is coming. You know, I anchor myself against the tree like that. All right, now I'm going to try the dreaded six o'clock position, which is directly behind me. Here we go. Ooh. That's a lot of like support on my 
back leg to really like support myself. I think if I had another platform or something to like press myself up against, that'd be a little bit easier. But that definitely is a lot of work on your leg closest to the tree. Try again. Let me see, maybe if I stand up. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh wow, wow, wow. Woo, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. There's not enough platform, so you can't get far away enough from the tree, and I feel like my feet couldn't be far enough apart. I didn't like that. I'll try one more dangling. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Just let that go. It's going to take some practice. Get used to that. All right, I want to try one more position over this way, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Whew. That, not easy. Wait. much easier than but I feel like this is much more visible than standing like if I'm if I'm all tethered in and you can't see me hiding behind the tree and then I just come like swinging around that seems like pretty drastic to me I see the benefits in using a system like this because it's lighter, because you have the mobility of climbing almost any tree that you want to without already having a system set up. Second being the weight, which I may have said in my first point, but did I say that in my first point? The difficulties that I see in this are getting used to actually climbing the tree. So obviously I didn't climb the tree with this on today but I could see that taking some time to master or at least be comfortable with. Also shooting. So you can use a rifle as well. You know, this isn't just a system for bow hunting. So I will definitely need to practice shooting a rifle. I'll need to practice shooting my bow more and figuring out my shooting lanes. Overall though, I mean, I'm comfortable right now. Like it's, it's oddly satisfying and comfortable to be like dangling from a tree. You definitely would want knee pads if you're gonna sit like this. So in conclusion, I'm going to test this out more. Um, similar to the FOB videos that you guys have been seeing, I'm going to keep testing this sucker out. So leave me your comments, leave me your questions, your feedback, and that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.